Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us for another amazing Lunch and Learn. If you are watching this video right now, please go ahead and type in the word replay into the comments so that we know that you are here. Um, today we have uh, just another Lunch and Learn chock full of nuggets. Cannot wait to uh, share all of this with you guys today. If you're popping on, go ahead and make sure that you are dropping your business name and location down in the comments so that we know who you are and so that you can mix and mingle with other members of the TSP community. Uh, if you've never met me before, my name is Stephanie Rollins. I am one of the executive coaches for the TSP Mastermind. Uh, shout out to our Mastermind members. Uh, super proud of that group. Very uh, excellent group of Black entrepreneurs. Uh, we know all y'all are in the TSP community, but just got to show, uh, show some major love to the mastermind really quick. So today we are going to be talking about JV partnerships, okay, and how you can use them to enhance your business in 2020. And we've got an expert here that's going to explain to you how you can do that. Not only is she on today's Lunch and Learn, but she is going to be tearing up the stage at TSP Game Plan. So uh, if you got your ticket, Wonderful, you'll get to see her. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about her really quick and then we're gonna dive into the lunch and learn. So Alicia Little is the CEO of Internet Income Jamaica, a training company that teaches people how to build an online business. Alicia is also the CEO of POW Social, the Caribbean's leading digital marketing agency. Before jumping into entrepreneurship in the year 2000, Alicia had a career in environmental science and policy. She has worked at some notable organizations, including the White House, the United States Envir Environmental Protection Agency and the city of New Orleans in the mayor's office. As a highly sought after speaker and trainer, Alicia has traveled around the world, including Australia, the UK, New Zealand, Singapore, Malaysia, India, China, Japan, and all over the Car Caribbean, Nigeria, South Africa, and many other countries teaching and educating others on how to leverage the power of the internet for financial freedom and business growth. So Alicia is international, y'all. <laughs> if that didn't prove it to you, I don't know what else will. She's international with it. She knows what she's talking about. So although Alicia is usually traveling around the world, her home is in Kingston, Jamaica. Hey, Alicia, how are you? Good, Stephanie. Thank you for inviting me. I'm excited to be here. Yes, we're so excited to have you. Um, JV Partnerships is one of the things I've been kind of um, becoming interested in as far as, you know, how to structure them and how to properly implement them. So we're super excited to have you um, on the Lunch and Learn today. Thank um, you. So, Thank yes, absolutely. So can you tell us a little bit um, about why you think JV Partnerships are so important to a business's growth? Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, if I just talk about the past 12 months, let's just look back the past 12 months. The JV partnerships that I've had for the tw past 12 months have helped some of the products that I've launched to hit the six figure mark in one week. And without those JV partners, I might've been at just 20,000. You know what I mean? Like I was able to five times my income by bringing JV partners into the fold. And that's like on a product that I will launch on the front end. And then you know, the JV partners are bringing in good customers to me as I am bringing them good customers as well. So we do what's called reciprocal partnerships. You promote me, I promote you, and the world is a better place, basically. But when I look for a JV partner, Stephanie, what I'm looking for is I'm, I'm asking myself the question, who has my customers on their list, right? It's really my potential customers, but I always say like, who has my customers on their list. And that's the person that I need to find to be a partner. But to answer your question on why it's so important, it's so important because a JV partner can really help you to get where you want to be in your business financially, um, with better customers on your list and really helping you to, you know, expand your reach and reach more of the people that you want to reach and bring into your fold. If you do it yourself, you can do it yourself, cold traffic, social media traffic. But when you get a JV partner, it can be just like that that you're getting new people into your list and onto, onto your fold. And I love that, um, you know, because a lot of times as entrepreneurs, when you don't necessarily know what you're doing or you don't know what your options are, you are taking that slow track to success. Right. <laughs> and it's not that you can't get there, it's just gonna take three, four, five times longer than okay. it would, you know, with a track like this, as opposed to a track like this. So I love that you're coming on to educate us about this. Um, I know this is going to be a game changer for a lot of people in our community. So super excited to have you again. Uh, let's see who we got on. Hey, Toya, I see you're on. 
Um, hey, Terry, I see you're on. Guys, as you're coming on, make sure that you're dropping your name and you're, and you're tagging your business in the comments um, so we know who you are um, and your location too. So we know where you're at because some of you guys are in the same area and you guys can kind of meet up and um, chat and network and things like that. So we want to make sure that you guys know uh, where each other is at. So um, let's go ahead and get into some of the nuggets uh, because I just by that little intro you just gave, I can already tell you're about to bring some fire. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So um, let's talk about a little bit about um, when you were introduced to JV partnerships and what was that experience like? Well, going into 2020, this is my 20th year in internet marketing. So 20 years of selling my own products online. I've loved every single minute of it, right? It comes with its struggles, but of course I loved every single minute of it. It was almost from the beginning of starting an internet marketing that I realized the power of partnership. So my ex-husband at the time was, you know, he created a course and he wanted to learn how to sell it online. So we figured out how to sell it online, you know, put it up online. It did well. But then the minute we said, well, who else has, the ability to promote our products. Like who, who and what companies would have someone that would be interested in our products? And when we did that, we're like, whoa, we just sold more products because of them than we've sold ourselves in the past six months. So it was almost from the very beginning when we're trying to figure out how to move more products that I realized that there's these people out there that want to promote your products. And when I started talking to people that wanted to promote our products, they would say, look, I need something to mail my list and I want to make more money. So if you've got something good, let me mail it to my list. Let me, you pay me 50%, I make more money. And then, you know, when I've got something, would you mail it to your list in the future? I'm like, of course, and then I'll make money. So it was almost, almost straight from the beginning of starting an internet marketing that I realized that there is so much great opportunity in finding other people with similar customers that would be interested in my products. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how to find those people um, later on, because I know that's gonna be a burning question uh, that everyone has. Um, so when you're creating your products, do you actually create them with the JV partners in mind or what's that process like? Yeah, absolutely. So to give you an example, I've created a lot of products in the past year that have to do with the local marketing space. So how to do local marketing. So how to service a local business like a pizza shop or a boutique restaurant with social media management or other products like that. So when I'm putting out a product, I'm thinking to myself before I put out this product line that we did um, in the past year, and I'll talk more about this from stage, but as I was putting out that product line, I made my hit list of JV partners who I knew would promote it. And then I picked up the phone and sent some inbox messages to the people I didn't know and said, hey, this is what I'm looking to do this year. And these are the products. Is this something you would like to support in exchange for, you know, being paid commission on it? And I kept getting yeses, yeses, yeses. So I said, great, now I'm going to create my products around these JV partners. And it worked. The JV partners that I went after, they promoted it. They promoted almost, most of them promoted almost every single launch that I did in the last year. We all made a lot of really good money. And then our students did really well. Great testimonials came in. It was just a win-win all over the place. But to answer that question, yes. Um, sometimes when I'm creating products, I do think who's going to promote this. If I can't identify a hit list of a hundred people who are going to promote it, then I need to go back to the drawing board and say, you know, maybe this product isn't in a niche that I should get in, or it's not something that I should get in, um, get into if I can't even identify people that would promote it to their list. Makes total sense. Makes total sense. Um, hey guys, if you are just popping on, make sure that you are leaving your name, you're tagging your business and your location down in the comments so that we know that you are here. Please leave your questions for Alicia. Um, she's already dropping some major nuggets about JP partnerships and how you can use them to enhance your business. Um, and it's really good so far. So please make sure that you're tagging, you're sharing, um, and you're also making sure that you come back and check this out um, later for when you are ready to uh, implement your JV partnership strategy. Uh, again, my name is Stephanie Rollins. I'm one of the TSP executive coaches for the Mastermind. I'm so glad to have you guys here. We've got Alicia Little on uh, all the way from Jamaica. She's in sunny Jamaica right now, y'all. Um, and she's joining us to just kind of talking about how to boost your business with JV partnerships. So. Alicia, really quick, I want to go back to 
when you were talking about how um, important JV partnerships are to your business, you were kind of spitting out some stats and some success stories. And I kind of want you to go back to that sure. um, for the people who are just popping on just so they can kind of hear that again, because I feel like that's really going to get people's wheels turning and just trying to figure out how they can actually implement um, a JV partnership strategy um, in their sure. business. So can you just talk about a few more success stories? Sure, sure. So the product that I launched a year ago, let's start with that, right? We made six figures in a week on that product. It was really great. That's just on the front end of that product. I'm not talking about selling other stuff to those new customers that we have, but just on that product launch. And as my sister and I looked at the numbers, we're like, you know what? We only made one fifth of the money had we just done it ourselves. But mm -hmm. it's like it's like we made five times more by inviting other people to sell our product, right? Inviting those JV partners in to sell the product. That's huge. That's a really huge change in income just based on JV partners. And a lot of times we put out products and it's great that we run cold traffic to it. It's great that we just try to promote our products ourselves. But if you could say, if I could five times, 10 times my income, just by bringing in some other people to promote it, would I do it? Your question, the answer to that question is going to be absolutely. Mm. So for me, having JV partners, I don't release a product unless I know who my JV partners are going to be for that product. So, you know, I'm in masterminds, Coach Stephanie, I heard you talking about the mastermind, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, think about your mastermind members. We'll talk about where to find people. But when you find these people that will do your JVs with you, ask them straight up, would you promote this? when I release it, because part of me releasing it is going to be based on that. And I would love to promote you after this launch, because then I'll have a list of people who would like a product like yours as well. So, um, it, you know, if we're talking about stats. I'm saying we five times our income by doing, by having joint venture partners. What now we've even released products that we never released to our list and just let JV partners release it to their list. So in those cases, we can say like, 100% of the sales come from JV partners. Mm. So there's those cases as well. And because there's JV partners out there, because there's people out there, because there's people with lists out there that are just waiting for the opportunity to promote something to their list, they're going to make money when they do it. There's a lot of people, Stephanie, I didn't know this until I really started digging deep into JV partnerships, but there's a lot of people that just sit back. They've got a list. They don't want to put out their own products. They just look for other people's products to promote. And, wow. and you need to say, Hey, I've got a product that you can promote. And they're like, thank God, because I've been waiting for someone to right. promote. So it's, it's a good mesh when you find these people with lists that are looking for products to promote. And there's a ton of, they're everywhere. Mm. <laughs> awesome. So now that you bring that up, why don't you go ahead and tell us about how you find those people? What's your strategy? What's your process? And then sure. also how do you nurture their relationship? Absolutely. So the first part of the process is thinking about, okay, where are my JV partners going to be? <laughs> where am I going to find these JV partners that I'm going to partner up with? Where am I going to find people who have similar interests, similar lists that could promote me? The first and most important place that I would say that you go is to a live event. I have gotten JV partners like crazy at live events. So, you know, the live event in January, <laughs> if you guys are there, have your hit list and say, my purpose here is to find 10 people that we're going to form reciprocal relationships and promote each other's products. Even if your product isn't done yet, but you know what your product is going to be, just have your elevator pitch ready so I that you can that. telling JV partners, look, this is what I'm coming out with in 2020. Like this event in January is the perfect opportunity for you to be using 2020 as your launching pad, sort of like your mm -hmm. excuse and elevator pitch. So the first question that you need to ask yourself is what is the product or service that I want a JV partner to market and sell for me, right? That's the first question you answer. Once you answer that question, then step number two is that you start off with your to-do list and that is your hit list. All right, who are the first 20 people that I'm going to hit up to promote this um, product, you know, for me? And you write down that hit list. When you're at a live event, now you might not even know the people in the room, but you work that room and you meet new people, you know, put their phone numbers in your phone. If you have cards and flyers, pass that out as well. 
um, you know, get trade show stuff if you want to bring to the event with you as well, but make sure that you're using that opportunity. That's your mission. Your mission is to network with people and find people that you're going to be able to form relationships with that you promote each other. You know, I'm in a mastermind, Stephanie, and in that mastermind group, which is number two, right? So number one is live events. Number two is masterminds. In that mastermind group, I have made more money with that people in the mastermind group than any other group of people. So I belong to a mastermind group that's digital service marketing professionals. We've been, I've been in the group for five years now and four or five years now. And the members of that group, we promote each other. We, we create products together now. Two of the 10 products I released last year were with my mastermind members. They had products, but they didn't want to put together the funnel, the marketing and the affiliates. My team did the funnel marketing and affiliates. They had software. We teamed up, we split the money and split the list, you know, so we both have the list and it was a perfect quick partnership that generated six figures for both of us. It was crazy. So mastermind groups are, are the second best way to find people. If you're not part of a mastermind group, Hey, when you go to the event in January, or if you're not, you know, ask Stephanie, but find a mastermind group where you can form relationships because networking is important, but then forming relationships is even more important. Right. And one of the ways that that we use to form relationships with our JV partners. And I'm, I'm in Jamaica. Let me just show you my view real quick. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, there, yeah, you- there it goes. Oh, I love it. Oh, don't make me jealous, Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> At the background, but it was too bright. Um, and the pool's down Beautiful. there. Beautiful. <laughs> but, you know, one of the things I do with my JV partners, I've invited them here to my home. Mm. You know, I've done masterminds here in my home with my students and my other mastermind members. Um, and then I also give my mastermind members and my affiliates trophies. So I'm trying to think of the website. Ah, oh, God, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but it's in my presentation for the January event. There's this company that makes great trophies. I spent $10 a trophy. And it says top affiliate and it has the, the JV partner or the affiliate's name on it. And I give them these trophies after they promote me. And you, it's unbelievable what people will do for a $10 trophy. Like they oh, want to win. I believe it. <laughs> I see your trophies in the background there. Stephanie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so many of my JV partners have their trophies. I see it on their lives in their background. Like mm-hmm. they're proud of this trophy. It's a gold dollar sign trophy, but acknowledgement is what partnerships want. And that's how to nurture relationships. You said you were going to ask me about nurturing relationships, but every step of the way you nurture those relationships. When I go to my mastermind sessions, you know, the minute I, I land, my purpose is to, you know, continue to form those relationships with my mastermind members. Right. Love it. So then number one was live events. Number two is mastermind sessions. Number three is your customers. So You never know who's on your customer list who would be great to also either form a partnership with you or be a joint venture partner and promote your products. So sometimes you can even ask your list, right? You can ask your list, hey, I have this opportunity to, um, you know, I have affiliates. And if you'd like to promote my products and get commission, reply back to this email and we can have a conversation and you can send them then to your JV page or have somebody pick up the phone and call them. But on your customer list, there are JVs, there are potential partners. There's so much that's on your email list. So back in 2003, I'm going way back, <laughs> but back in 2003, <laughs> on my customer list, there was a guy named Greg Caesar. He actually was um, in our mastermind. He was paying us monthly for coaching and masterminding. And he was just brilliant. I love the guy. So we formed later on in 2010, we formed a partnership together and released a product. Um, I I was asking him about it over the weekend. He was like, we did about $1.3 million together, right? Wow. From being a customer to being a partner that I made over a million dollars with. So you never know who's on your list and the partnerships that you can form. So really also look at your customers as to be, they're not just making you money by buying your products and services, but they, you would be surprised how many of them have the potential to help you release a new product um, because they've got a new strategy that your list will love, or, you know, they will mail their list because they have a list that, that would like your products and services. All right. 
Number four. So number one is live events. Two is mastermind sessions. Three is your customers. Number four is social media. There are Mm. these Facebook groups out there (laughs) and even Skype groups that have people that are looking to promote products. So my, my JV manager set up a Skype group for anybody who's looking to do local business promotion in our niche. And there's so many people in that group who are promoting us. We relaunch a a product on Friday. They're promoting us. We're talking about promotions just in that Skype group. I've gotten so many interviews and opportunities and Mm. promoted. I promoted somebody this weekend and two virtual summits, like so much action in that group. And then I belong to these Facebook groups. So if you just search on Facebook, you know, you can find groups of people who are interested in that same niche. I don't care if your niche is natural hair products, makeup, you know, courses, whatever your niche is, you will find groups of people who are coming together to talk about that. You might also find groups of people who come together because they promote products in that niche. So Mm. look for those different Facebook groups. If you just find Facebook group of people interested in that niche, you'd also be surprised. Watch the conversations and you'll be surprised. Somebody will say, my customers are looking for this, or they talk about their customers, boom, connect with them, then inbox them, say, hey, I just sent you an inbox message and form partnerships. There's so much untapped money in Facebook groups right now (laughs) and in LinkedIn groups as well. I Mm -hmm. write articles on LinkedIn every once in a while and they will get shared in LinkedIn groups. And the article then goes like crazy. I get new customers from it, new partnerships. There's a lot of money on LinkedIn as well that we're not tapping into. So Facebook group, LinkedIn groups, find Skype groups that you can be part of and you'll find joint venture partners. You'll be overwhelmed. There'll be too many joint venture partners. (laughs) At that point, everybody's a partner. (laughs) And then let's talk about number five. So we talked about live events, number one, mastermind sessions, number two, your customers, number three, social media, number four. And then number five is product marketplaces. So my products are in a marketplace called the Warrior Forum. So Warrior Plus, JVZoo, and ClickBank, right? So you can go to any of those marketplaces, find people who are selling similar products to yours you know, ask them if you can promote their product and then promote it, make some sales, get their attention and then come back and say, Hey, I made some great sales. We probably have similar lists. Do you mind if I send you my product and information and you might want to sell it? And they're like, sure. I see the money that you made with me. Let's do something together. So on those product marketplaces, you can also buy advertising space. Mm. So I always buy ad space, right? (laughs) I buy ad space that shows that my product is launching. I'm looking for affiliates, buy banner space. You'd be surprised. Sometimes it's a hundred dollars for banner space that will make you $20,000. The the return on that banner space is so amazing, yet it's overlooked by almost everybody. Mm. Whenever I see that there's nobody even advertising there, it's like buy this space for a hundred dollars. I'm like, what? Nobody's advertising there. Let me take it. So I love that that space to get in front, but on, on those, you know, in those marketplaces, you have people who are looking for products to promote. So why not promote yours, right? Why not promote yours? And then you can go out and get a virtual assistant to do all the connections for you. This, I'm not saying, because I'm saying live events, you need to do yourself, masterminds yourself, your customers yourself, but some of the social media and product marketplace work, you can have an assistant do for you. So they can go out and find products, um, products authors, like people who own these products and meshes, message support with your message, right? And work those for you. You can have a virtual assistant um, go into Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups and post for you and, and say, Hey, I'm the joint venture manager for this company. And it looks like you would be a really good fit. May I send you some more information? I never, I never have my virtual assistant send the information straight out, ask for permission to send the information, have them say yes, and then send it. Otherwise it's spammy, crammy crap. Don't do it, right? Yeah. Don't just say, here's all my links, promote me, ask for permission. Hey, can we talk about this? What do you have that I can promote? I always say that you should, you know, ask somebody, what do you have that I can promote? This is what my list is like. What's your list like? Start conversations to build relationships and the money's there. 
I love that. Um, that was a lot of really good information. <laughs> that was really good. Um, and I want to go back to one thing that you said. We do have a question here, so I'll get to that in just a second. But I want to go back to one thing that you said that really just kind of stuck out to me. When you were talking about the customer list and saying that you just don't know who's on your customer list, I want to just point this out. I hear this a lot when people go live. They'll say, oh, well, only three people were on my live stream or only 10 people were on my live stream. You have no idea who's either watching live or who's going to see it later on. That's right. That person can contact you about a deal that could make your entire business. It's so you true. just have no idea. So I'm really glad that you brought that up because I feel like um, sometimes we can kind of get consumed with these vanity metrics. And right. it's not about who, how many people are watching. It's about the quality of people that are watching and who could potentially see it. You still put yourself out there so that people can see it. So, um, yeah, I really love that you pointed that out. Okay. Um, Yolanda is saying, great stuff. What would be a reason to release a project to JV partners solely and not to your own list? Uh-oh, I think Alicia's frozen. So that's if I just want to grow my list. Oh, can you hear me, Stephanie? I yes, now we can. Now uh, we can. <laughs> all right. I'm saying that's if my is just to grow my list. Mm. So I don't want to remarket. I don't want to market the product to my list because the purpose of this product is to grow my list. So I have released products, like a great product and given a hundred percent commission to the JV partner just so that I can grow my list, right? And get new customers into my fold. I'm saying, and they know, like, that's the of it. You want to make that 100% commission. You know, it's really, Stephanie, it's like how our mind works. If a product yeah. is $20 and I'm giving 100% commission, or it's $40 and I'm giving 50% commission, an affiliate is more attracted to like the $20 giving 100% commission, mm -hmm. sometimes in the 40 giving 50%. Who knows? But I, I do just to get JV partners um, attention. But to answer her question, it really is about growing and building your list and your database. So, you know, I do like to sell internally a lot. I'll create products just for my list as well. So I do both create products just for my list, not for joint venture partners, just something small that I know they need, and then create products just to build my list and bring more people in. Got it. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. um we just have a couple more minutes so guys if you have any questions make sure you're dropping them down in the comments if you're just now popping on please catch the replay because that was that was just so first let me tell you i've been on this like kick right for we've been talking about it in the mastermind there's this book called the dream 100 and i just absolutely love it i don't know if you've read it or not but it's basically you know kind of talking about jv partnerships and and i just love it i just it just i just love it i'm in love with it and the mastermind can tell you that um but so this is like, I just love hearing this because again, like a lot of entrepreneurs were taking that shortcut to success or not the shortcut to success, the short way to success when right. this could really just explode your business. And just like you said, when you're working with these partners, you're making way more than you would have made as opposed to just working by yourself. So it's so true. I really love this concept um, and <laughs> cannot wait until you're at TSP game plan because <laughs> it's going to be amazing. I say this, Stephanie, when you do it, like you work with JV partners, everything grows for you. Your list grows, your bank account grows, your social media following grows, your reputation grows, everything grows. Mm. And when somebody promotes you, what's so worth it too, is that when they promote you, they are basically saying to their list, I trust this person. I like this person. I like what they have to offer. And I'm introducing you to them. If someone trusts, you know, you enough that they're going to mail your stuff to their list that list is feeling that trust. So when they come mm. onto you, that buildup of trust that you have to build with people, it's transferred Absolutely. from that person yep. that they trust to you. And so um, that's, that's one thing that the minute I do a JV partnership, you see everything start to grow. And you're like, this is so, this partnership is so worth it. I send them stuff in the mail. I go onto Amazon and my JV partner's address. I just mail them emoji pillows. Who knows, you know, something small goes a long way, but the relationships are so worth it to build your business. Um, I just want to tell you a quick story, Stephanie. Of sure. 
um, some of my JV partners. So I released a product with Greg Caesar, the student who was on my list. It was called Deal Site Profits. And when we went to release it, we had a great webinar. The price of the webinar was $9.97. And we went to one of the guys, his name is Joe Troyer, in my mastermind group. And we said, Joe, would you mail this to your list? He said, let's do a live webinar together. We did the webinar together. You know, it went great. And at the end of the webinar, he sent so much traffic to our sales page that he crashed the server. Oh right? my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I say to my sister, who's our techie, I'm like, oh my God, they can't get to the page. And the more that we talk about the fact that the servers crash on the webinar, the more people are trying to get to the page to see the crash. Wow. Finally <laughs> get the page back up online and we make 104 sales that night, a 90 wow. minute presentation, 104 sales at 997 and a crash server. You know, my sister acted quick, wow. got another page up real quick, but we're like, a 90 minute, you know, the relationship with Joe had been growing for years, maybe at that time, three or four years. So it was nurturing that relationship. We were friends, we're in the mastermind together, but a 90 minute session and he's crashing our server. We did it with another friend, Ty Cohen, who's in a different mastermind. Um, and you might know Ty and Ty sold over a hundred for us, for us as well. We learned wow. how to make sure our server doesn't crash. <laughs> <laughs> right. But we're like two people sold more than two. It was like 220 products. You know what I mean? Just in mm. one week with two people promoting us. The possibilities are endless when you find the right people to promote your products for you. I love it. Like I'm getting chills because I know everybody in our community could use this type of boost. So I'm, I just love this. Um, if y'all are just hopping on, like I need for you to go back, once we're finished, go back and catch the replay because this was really good. Um, the good news is, is that Alicia is gonna be hitting the stage for TSP game plan. So you do get to see her there and you have a chance to uh, ask her your questions there as well. But this was just amazing. Um, Alicia, thank you so much for joining us today. We truly appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you, Stephanie. Yes, absolutely. So guys, we are about to wrap up um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if you're just now popping on, please check out the replay. This can change your business, y'all. Um, don't miss out on this. Do not miss out on this. Get the replay, get your nuggets, get your processes going. Uh, it's that serious. So thank you guys so much once again for joining us today. Um, we will be back next week uh, and we're gonna be giving you guys the uh, best lunch and learns of 2019. So make sure that you guys are tuning into that. Um, Yolanda is asking for your contact information. Um, would you like to share that or how would you like to do that? Absolutely. Yolanda, the, probably the easiest way is to just connect with me on social media. So on Instagram, it's just Alicia Little, A-L-I-C-I-A, -I -I Little, L-Y-T-T-L-E. I'm also in the Facebook group. So you can message me just underneath the post in the Facebook group um, and send me a message on Facebook. I check my messages on social all day long. So send me any, any messages you have, and I'd be happy to help you and connect. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Alicia. Uh, we truly enjoyed chatting with you and for everybody else, we will see you next week.